The Volusia County Speedway, the world's fastest half mile right here. All the national pro riders are here getting ready to line up and the stands are packed. Look at this crowd. Sold out. It's a place to be. Down there doing her pre race. The crew chief's coming out to their motorcycle. Pick those starters in the side, fire those bikes. Hanson Hines class. So we're lining up, we're going to do starting lines again. Just because, sort it out, first main event of the night. This one will be eight minutes plus two laps, Brad. What's the difference between going eight minutes? Going eight in the semi -final. He's the best of the best. Well, I think they're going to be on the factory Harley Davidson right there. Eight, eight minutes, so they, uh, they should be, I think, at least get 25 laps out here. So, uh, that's going to be almost double what they did in the semi final. These guys are going to have, have to be, uh, be a test of five or seven or five in the soccer compound, seven in the harder compound. If they got that soccer compound tire, they're going to have to. That. Let's go down to the track side. Chris and B. Chris. Pat Buchanan. <laughs> Starting in 14 for Milford Pinto Sucky. 50 by Jimmy McAllister. Moving up to run number three, your 2019 champion in the production twins class from Willow Street, Pennsylvania. 65, Corey Texter. Next in line, four-time Daytona 200 winner from Tulsa, Oklahoma. They call him Slick, Danny Eslick. Here in the fifth, number 25, Ben Lyle. And in your first pick, row number two from Moton, Pennsylvania, number 68, Ryan Thorne. All the way to the front row, going from Memphis Chase, Vincent Construction on the Yamaha MT-07. From Warrington, Pennsylvania, 62, Dan Bromley. From Pine Grove, Pennsylvania, good for D.D. Cycles, Vincent Hines, Dodge Brothers on the Harley Davidson, 79, it's good time, Dolphin Gautier. <laughs> From Coastal, Pennsylvania, good for Frederictown Yamaha, Richie Reynolds Racing on the Yamaha MT-07, 44, Cameron Smith. <laughs> On the phone with a California kid from Fremont, California. Trust by Booty Ranger, Root Sisters, Vance and Hines. On the Holly, your pole center, number 49, Chad Coates. That is your starting lineup. Now, Brad, your pole center, 49. Uh, that's a good, uh, good question there, Scotty. I mean, uh, it looked like a lot of the riders have gotten to the whole shop from third over, but. Uh, you know, being around the outside, you're able to kind of continue that momentum, got that nice smooth arc going, and the thing to do is take that outside start position, just able to keep up that, uh, that momentum around the outside and carry it through the corner. Do you think the 44, Cameron Smith, starting second from the outside, do you think, do you, do you think that Cameron Smith will line up and get his first win. This is what he looks like. This is for the view from Cameron Smith right here on the screen looking at Randy Rizzo. That's his shot into the first corner. Do you think he can win his first main event tonight? I think Cameron has what it takes. I mean, I don't think Cameron's actually been on the uh, the podium, even in the singles class. I know he's gotten really close to it. He's got a lot of top fives. He's won a lot of outlaw races, but He's never been on the podium, I don't think, in a in a in any AFT class. Well, that's I, happening tonight. I think that that's definitely happened tonight. I think he's definitely getting on the podium, and I definitely think he has what it takes to to win this race as well. But uh, he has a lot of good riders there next to him that are uh, that are not going to make that easy for him. Starting on the inside with his left shoulder, ever to win on a Harley XG750 did that Sacramento. He's looking to get back on top of the podium. Yeah, he definitely is. He rode in the uh, Super, Twin, Super Twins class last year. Uh, you know, had some decent results, but now he's back in the production class aboard the Vance and Hines Harley Davidson XG 750. He uh, he definitely knows how to win races, so you know he's focused to get back to winning wins. And on the inside, Dan Bromley. He spent a year or two in the uh, Super Twins class. He's hungry for a win as well. Yeah, yeah, he definitely is. He, uh, you know, he got so close to a uh, podium. Hey, this rider is sitting right there. That's a 79 Dolphin Goji. I love it. I think he's got some training from James Raspoli. That's some good energy. <laughs> All right, they're ready to fire him up and turn him loose. 
We got one sighting left. Eight minutes left. Alive. Seven minutes left. Not new. So unfortunately, can't scan it. Not going to be allowed to come out to the main event. That's a tough break for the 71. This race is how sucky. Chad Toast, your pole center. Pulls up first, doing it for Moody Ranger Roots. This is the Dallas Texas Ben Pine and Richie Reynolds racing on the Harley. Just about out with the just about to be Shut the bikes off to let them cool down. A little bit more. It looks like the foot peg is either bent up or very missing a lot. I don't know. That's the shifter. It looks like the left side is a little beat. So he's got front end retained, and then we'll take a look down there. It is kind of dark on that side of the motorcycle. The camera is right up above them. Uh, looks like it's going to be a little bit more second. Yeah, that's the right side. Right side of the bike. Yeah, that's the 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 right how that that groove is so shiny the the rubber being laid down yes it does have traction but and it is also pretty slick there's only only a certain amount of little you know footprint of the of the tire that tires that are almost two feet wide you know a two three inch traction patch uh so it's it's really hard for these guys to be able to to manage that and put all the power on the ground um you know, the bike can only be so good and the rest is on the rider 
they got to be easy on the throttle, roll on the throttle, roll off the throttle, keep up your momentum, and uh, yeah, just try to put every ounce of power you can to the ground. Was, again, this was eight minutes plus two laps, so I don't know what time the uh, clock stopped on this one. We can't see the clock from our vantage point right now. There's a look at Cameron Smith, his mom and dad. It's definitely hard. I mean, you get in a little bit of a rhythm. You uh, got that first start out of the way, and now they're out of your rhythm. Uh, just a little bit, these guys are helping out. Terrible season over for him, and he's definitely uh, salvaged. Uh, 
hold on. track. I, uh, I was watching what was happening on the podium. Maybe he lost some parts off his bike. He wanted to uh, <laughs> see who Chad might stop by and get for a what? victory lap here. He's over there seeing what's going on. Somebody's putting a helmet on. Somebody's going to climb on back. <laughs> it looks like they got leathers on. Is that yeah. going to be Wells, you think? I don't know. <laughs> We're going to find out here in a minute. There's they're enjoying their victory lap, that is for sure. We're going to talk to third, second, and first here real soon. There's Corey heading on over there to the uh, other side of the podium. We'll talk to these three riders here in just a second. Let's go down to the victory podium. Kristen Beats down there with, it looks like, third place. That's right. Corey Texter inserted himself in the conversation during that race. You made it interesting, Corey. And I know how meaningful getting on the podium is. I know you also wanted to see the Man, we'll go come tomorrow and do it again. Like, I'm ready for it. Let's go. Let's take a look at the replay right here. This is the last lap. We're at down the back straight. Corey gets the drive off of turn two. Going into three. What's happening? Yeah, he just, well, we did get into him a little bit. I mean, he, uh, then Dan says, okay, I'll retaliate. I'm going to go square up the middle of the corner, get back into him, repays the favor. Now here comes Chad Coast getting a great run down on the groove. Joe just slides up the inside underneath Bromley to get the win on the Harley Davidson. What a race that was. Let's go back to Victory Podium. Dan Bromley is with Kristen B. 
before the start of this race, Dan Robbie said, so now you want to talk to me. Dan, do you feel like moving into this class that you've been overlooked? And overlooked, I mean, I didn't even get invited to media day, which a lot of riders that were invited I didn't think should have been, but I'm here, I'm on the podium, I get my media right now, that's why I'm here, and uh, I gave that race all I had, you know, we were working this week, one motor failure, practice, we had a second one, and then now we're on the little 700 that could, so we're giving it all we have, we're going to try and see what we can do tomorrow, and uh, this was a must-win race for you. You put that pressure on your shoulders. How in perfection. The riders in front of you making a mistake, racing a little too hard, and you were there to capitalize. Never on. luck at this level. Um, well, I mean, you got to have the ability to do it. Um, I, I felt great all day. Um, there's a couple things I think we could have changed. But all in all, these I mean, these guys were hungry just as I was. And I think you could tell by the, the aggression that we all had out there. And uh, I mean, this is what you have to do to win races. And, uh, you know, I was a little disappointed they got by, made a couple mistakes. But uh, luckily, I was there to capitalize in the end. And uh, I think any three of us could have won that race. I'm just glad we put on a show for the fans. And it's been, uh, it's been tough for me to get here. Uh, but we're here and we're on top. And that's uh, the goal all season. So. I just want to thank my sponsors, Voodoo Ranger, Richie Reynolds, Vance and Hines, Rod Lake, uh, Riggs, Gene, and family from Florida. It's like my new home. It seems like I do well, so well here. So, uh, yeah. And congratulations as well. <laughs> All right. That is awesome, Ricky. Good job. And he said congratulations because Shayna and Briar got married in the offseason on 10 25. 10 was Briar's number through, and 25A was Shayna's number 10 10 25. Running 15 from Thanks Albion, New York, to number 94, flying Ryan Wells. God bless the United States. Looks like we missed the ride.